they'd, they'd put men right. in. Right. Um, but it seems like it takes, you know, it took Josie a year. I mean, yeah, I'm not going to say a time frame necessarily, right. um, but there's, you know, there's a lot of things you have to learn. Um, you have to be on the fly. You have to make split-second adjustments, um, whether it be the front or, or, or coverages we're doing and things like that. So I'm not going to say a time frame, but, but yeah, no, there's definitely a lot of things. Takes a lot. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Um, Tell us about Iowa, Iowa Wisconsin, yeah. Yeah. and yeah. tell us about your recruiting a little bit because I think it was just Iowa and then a few uh, North Dakota State. Yeah, yeah, there's a few FCS schools. Um, North Dakota State was first offered there. It's actually Coach Paul said recruited me over there. Okay, same and hometown. Now he's here, so it's, and we're in the same hometown, same oh. tw- town of 1200, which That's is right. pretty crazy. Um, but no, yeah, so I was recruited pretty lightly um, with FCS schools. I think Bowling Green offered me also Illinois State, some schools like that. Um, and then I kind of came here to camp. Um, Coach Wallace come, came down and talked to me um, in my senior year, or my junior year um, as I was kind of training for camps and things were coming. And he just said, you know, come to camp, um, take a look at you, we'll get through some drills. If, you know, we like what we see, you know, good things could happen. That's kind of what happened. Right. I came to camp, you know, did, did some things and worked with actually Coach Reed because he was here. Um, and, and they offered me um, shortly after, and then I committed there. I think a month or so yeah, after yeah. two months, something like that. So, what's it like when Iowa come when the Iowa coaches come to Iowa? I mean, it's kind of, I'm it's, not sure. I, I mean, know well, the last time Wisconsin coaches were there. Yeah, I mean, there were several Big Ten yeah. schools that I was in touch with. Okay, um, not necessarily like, offered for right. but um, I mean, it's it's surreal at the moment. You're just a high school kid, 17 years old. Um, you just, I just tried to work hard as I could literally every day. I was in sports, basketball. Right. The next morning, we'd have a game, you know, that Thursday night, Friday night. Like, next morning, I'd literally be in there at like 6 a.m., like, lifting, doing mm-hmm. things. That's, mm-hmm. that's kind of, like, where I got, you know, to where I am is just putting that time in. And my coaches back in you know, my high school definitely pushed me to be the way that I am. Um, you know, yeah, it, I mean, it's surreal at that point. But, I mean, that's kind of what you work for in a same right. sense. Right, absolutely. But, but yeah, no, it was, it was a lot of fun. You guys didn't play Stanley, did you? No, yeah. You guys he's, are smaller. So uh, guys are I don't smaller. know. Where he's, he's, yeah, he's up north further. Um, yeah, we were Where's a lot smaller. Where is Iowa? Is uh, kind of by Green Bay? It's like an hour and 15, like west of Green Bay. Okay. So if it's kind of like two hours directly north of Madison. Like Rhinelander ish? No, south of that. Okay. Um, but no, yeah, it's it's pretty much in the center of the state. Yeah, it's like suburb of Manawa. Of what? Manawa. Manawa? <laughs> My brother yeah. was in Manawa. Really? I've been through your town many times. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, my dad went to Manawa. There you go. Wow. Yeah, so that's crazy. Did you know Polisek before? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so they kind of have family friends okay. um, through us. So, yeah, I mean, I didn't know him, known, but I definitely got to know him through recruiting and things like that. So, what a small world. So he's been awesome, yeah. Did he tell you about his logging days there, and did you I've ever join I've heard him? briefly. He isn't, I mean, we haven't, like, sat down and talked about it, but oh. I've heard he had to sell something to drive to far. I don't, know. Golf club. I don't know the whole golf story. Club. He had yeah. a golf club. He had a driver just so he could drive to, uh, was it <laughs> North Dakota State? The Fargo. Yeah, yeah. Fargo yeah. from uh, yeah, I, yeah, like I said, I don't know. Exactly what it was. But yeah, that's 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 funny that you say that. Yeah. <laughs> when, you, you, no when you first came to Iowa, you, you, you worked out a little bit at, at outside backer. Um, what was the discussion then, and then how did it materialize to move it inside and at both middle um, and read? I mean, I worked out outside for it was you know, my first camp, my freshman year. Um, you know, I think I did some good things, learned a lot about kind of. With the coverages and things like that are kind of when you're detached from mm-hmm. the body, if you want to call it the box or whatever. Yeah. Um, and then I kind of just moved back inside. I mean, I don't want to say what exactly it was that coach, the coach is just moving back. Um, and I embraced whatever you know they're going to say. Um, but in that sense, um, in that sense, it kind of gave me confidence that I could play both. Mm-hmm. Um, but I've been inside ever since. Um, and I think I have the physicality, you know, what it takes to play inside, um, mm-hmm. the speed, things like that. So, yeah. You know, I mean, you guys have quite a competition going because you really oh, haven't played a lot. But, you know, yeah. Jack's played, um, you know, a couple years ago after Josie about killed that kid in that uh, Miami and Ohio game, I think it was. Yep. And then you also have next to you, you know, men's and, and Imani. I'm sure there's some position flexibility among you four. Sure, yeah. What's this competition like? And oh, it's, how are you working together? Too? Oh, it's every day, every snap. Um, we're competing literally every every single play, every chance we get. Um, yeah, it, no, it's intense. You know, there's a lot of we respect each other. Um, it's not nothing like you know bad bad competition by any means, but 
no, it's, it's intense. It's, it's, I mean, we're just coming to work every day. Like, I'm excited to improve my own things. Um, you know, whether whoever's next to me, is, you know, my, your Will, Mike, whatever it be, um, we're just trying to improve. You know, what can we do better? And what can kind of make us flow better as a defense? Um, but, you know, it, it's, it's going to be right down to the wire. So. Yeah. In what ways are the, the middle and, and the will different sure. in this in the scheme of this defense? I mean, it seems like everything kind of funnels to the will, but then Josie ruined all that because he um, tackled I mean, everybody. I don't want to say that it funnels all to the mic. <laughs> um, there's a lot of you know, schematic field under defense, things like that. Um, I mean, there's plays out there to be made for both inside linebacker and outside linebacker. Um, outside linebacker probably a little less, but um, as far as inside, there's plays be made, depends on who we play, um, things like that. So, I mean, I don't want to say that you know, either way, mm -hmm. but, I mean, just schematically, it's not. Mike can make plays as well as the guys. Mm -hmm. And vocally, what's the differences and what do you have to do as the Mike versus the um, not? So, for the Mike, I mean, there's a lot of front adjustments. It kind of has not the final say, but definitely that's kind of who, you know, if Mike makes a call, whether we set the defense. Or makes an adjustment in a you know fire zone or whatever it is, that's kind of what, like we're doing that like now. Even if it's wrong, like we're gonna that's we're running, mm -hmm. that's what we're doing. So um, as far as a will, I mean it's a little bit different because we'll make we'll make certain front adjustments, but it's not to the extent necessarily of the mic. Um, but so there's yeah there's just those minor differences. Or there'll be just mostly front adjustments. What do you see out of, uh, let's say, the guys that are next to you right now, Aaron and, and Amani? What do they do well, and what assets will they bring when they're on the field? Um, Amani's very explosive. Um, he's very, very fast, very quick in a small space for sure. Um, you know, he's a he's a playmaker. Aaron, you know, he's a really good guy. Um, he's quick in a small space. Um, he kind of has that that cat twitch, some Coach Wallace calls it. Um, you know, they bring a lot to the, a lot of very both explosive, both explosive players. Um, you know, very smart players. And I mean, yeah, they're they're definitely you know good guys to compete against because it really brings out the best in myself and them. Um, that really makes the, the race much that more. And then the younger guys, you know, Dylan Doyle's on campus for sure, the first yeah. time. Um, Jaimon Colbert moved to sure, linebacker. Yeah, yeah, what do you, what do you see out of those two? Um, there's a lot of encouraging things, I think. Um, you know, they're, they're coming to work every day just like everybody else. Um, and they're you know, probably saying, why not me? You know what I mean? Like, um, you know, but Dylan, Dylan's really awesome. He's always asking questions, always trying to gain as much you know, knowledge as he can, which is exactly what a young player needs to do. I know I was trying to do that with Josie and Bo and Ben. Um, but, but, you know, like Dylan has been awesome. Because um, as a you know older guy, you kind of like okay that question. Like, yeah. Yeah, I should probably know the answer. Like and then you kind of find and you kind of you know understand it that look that much more. Um, the Jimon's been good too. Um, you know, he's making some good plays, making asking questions again. So they're both improving. A lot of the younger guys are. You know, we have some transfers in too. They're you know they're they're improving as well. So you know it's all good to see. It's, it's literally a positive improvement almost every day. Mm -hmm. um, I know there's a lot of improvement to be done you know, yet, but, but there's a lot of, a lot of like, you know, good things that we're seeing so far. And then on the outside, you know, Ben Neiman's brother is out there. Yeah, um, they, you know, do you ever do a double take, you know, and think that it's just Ben out there almost? Uh, uh, no, me and Nick are actually pretty close friends. Yeah, okay. But, but, yeah, no, it's, I mean, I have all the confidence in, in him doing, you know, what he's doing yeah. in the outside position, um, especially behind his brother. Yeah. I um, definitely learned a lot. And Kevin Ward as well, mm -hmm. who is a really good role model um, and leader on our, on our defense and special teams as well. Um, so, no, I, I have almost confidence in, in him and what he's trying to do. So. And Barrington, is he kind of still? Yeah, yeah Barrington as well, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, they're both, I mean, they're, they're kind of going back and forth. Um, I'm not going to say either way, but... But yeah, no, they're both very good, um, well-rounded players, fast, um, smart players. So yeah, I mean, there's a lot of lot of competing in the other positions. So.